Al Khair Foundation's aid delivery model is based upon rescue, recovery, relief, rehabilitation and reconstruction, where donations made are converted into frontline services quickly, efficiently and economically. In 2003, Al Khair Primary and Secondary School for Boys and Girls commenced with only four pupils and now has over 290 pupils, providing an excellent standard of education in national curriculum subjects, which has allowed it to feature in the top 10% of all UK schools. Since 2005 to date, Al Khair Foundation has worked tirelessly in the Indian subcontinent and especially in Pakistan in the aftermath of earthquakes, floods and cyclones providing search and rescue services including distribution of tents, blankets, emergency supplies as well as food ration packs and water distribution with purification tablets. Al Khair also funded a 100-bed mobile hospital including doctors, nursing staff and medication along with the funding of ambulances, mobile camps with free treatment and medication as well as eye operations, cleft lip remedial operations and maternity services too. Imam Qasim then launched the Let's Rebuild Pakistan program, whose aim it was to help the victims by rebuilding homes which were destroyed in the floods and earthquakes. Alongside the housing project, Imam Qasim launched Project 99, where each mosque rebuilt is named after a name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The work in alleviating the suffering of the victims continued by constructing a model village with an emphasis on houses adapted for the disabled and elderly. Alongside this, the rebuilding of community centers and schools was also completed. In Pakistan, the distribution of wheelchairs has helped families and individuals regain some dignity and independence and hope for their futures by providing a degree of mobility. Aside from its own work, Al Khair runs affiliated schools with support from Al Khair Primary and Secondary School in the UK. It also funds orphanages and support for widows and the elderly. In Bangladesh, a special rehabilitation program for street children was initiated in Dhaka, where over 2,000 individuals have benefited to date. This commenced during Ramadan 2011. Extensive Qurbani programs are also a feature of the Foundation's work, with a focus on outlying hard-to-reach areas, with Eid gift packs to Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Kenya and Somalia, amongst others. In India, water projects in the form of mobile filtration and fixed purification plants, water wells and water hand pumps were established to provide clean and safe water for those who did not already have access to such facilities. In 2008, the world witnessed the Gaza Initiative, in which Imam Qasim led a convoy from the UK to Gaza to deliver medical aid, clothing and food in association with MAP, Medical Aid for Palestine, a UK-based charity. In 2009, Ikra TV was announced and launched on Sky Channel 826 and streamed live online. Ikra TV is broadcast to over 1 million homes in the UK and 143 million homes throughout Europe, Africa, the Middle East and Russia. With an innovative and educational program base, it has become a recognized channel of choice for Muslim households in the UK. In 2010, the Haiti earthquake struck. Within 48 hours, Al Khair's teams were on the ground administering aid in the form of food, water, shelter and medication. Our teams undertook search and rescue and distribution of food and water. One million litres and one million water purification tablets were handed to the needy. Temporary shelters and food rations for families were also provided and the foundation funded a mobile hospital with an emphasis on amputations and maternity care. In addition, considerable trauma counselling was also administered. In 2011, the Japan tsunami struck and Imam Qasim with a small team from Al Khair Foundation flew out to provide first-hand search and rescue services. The foundation was one of the very few charities allowed unrestricted access within Japan, where they distributed food and water and coordinated medical aid and the distribution of medications, also administering counselling as required via the Muslim Circle of Japan. In mid-2011, Imam Qasim set out on a record-breaking ride to help for the victims of disasters. He cycled over 3,000 kilometres over 35 days across the length of Great Britain, from John O'Groats in the coastal northeast of Scotland to Land's End, the southernmost point of England, to raise awareness for victims of disasters and raised £1 million in the process. Muslim communities were visited along the way and the televised event saw a huge following. Towards the end of 2011, the world witnessed the drought and crisis in the Horn of Africa. Al Khair Foundation initially arranged the distribution of food, medication and water in northern Kenya and Somalia. The scale of the problem meant that we had no alternative but to initiate the Water for Africa program. The Water for Africa program will provide a safe water future for countless millions and guarantee a safe water future for countless generations to come. Al Khair Foundation's Water for Africa program aims to create deep borehole water wells and the water maintenance systems in the worst affected areas. So far, nearly a million pounds has been raised towards this worthy cause. 
One deep borehole water well which will provide safe and clean water to a minimum of 100,000 people has already been delivered. Work on the remaining water projects will commence with future plans including reclamation of desert land for farming and local agricultural initiatives. Imam Qasim also established a primary and secondary school in Somaliland, providing a free education in all mainstream subjects. The schools serve just over 1,400 children with teaching in English, Arabic and Somali.